Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts, I'm Scott. These are the Inverts and we are coming again with another care video. And this week we are looking at the pink leg, the dwarf pink leg tarantula. A tiny, tiny tarantula. Absolutely beautiful. She's absolutely gorgeous. The Koshiana Baronapes. If it wasn't for one reason, they would be one of the ideal beginner spiders. But these spiders... The spiderlings are literally one of the smallest ones on the planet, so they're ever so ever so tiny. And they feed on things like springtails and then slowly on to tiny, tiny fruit flies, and then they get bigger and bigger prey. Now, that is the only reason that I'm not suggesting that this little girl is a beginner friendly spider, just purely because how small they do start their lives at, they are so, so tiny. Anyway, let's get in to today's video. So our Cushiana or Cuchiana Berenipes actually comes mainly from around northern Brazil. It is found a little bit further south, but around the north. Now, most of Brazil has a high annual average temperature, sort of between 25 to 28 degrees, with humidity around 70 to 80 percent. And across the north is a tropical wet climate, which characterizes much of northern Brazil, abundant in rainfall and has hardly any dry season whatsoever. In fact, 90 inches of rain falls across the north in only one year, which is absolutely immense. Now these temperatures and the humidity, we have to try and recreate that in the enclosure. Don't worry, I'll show you the enclosure set up towards the end of the video. And here is one of two females that I actually keep here at Scott's Inverts. This one's had an egg sac. Um, I'm currently looking for a mature male to hopefully pair up with her again. Now, when these are an adult, you're looking at around five to six centimeters across as a female, and just a tiny bit smaller are the males, although the males do have long legs and a skinnier bum. Now, this girl can grow or live to around 10 years. They mature around four, four years, whereas the males can only live up to around three to four years, and they mature between one year to 18 months. And I'm just showing you, this is the, my index finger, the tip of the nail, to show you how small these tarantulas actually are. These guys, they will burrow, they do. So please, when you're doing your enclosure, remember to set it up so that they can burrow down deep. If you've got a sling, remember to leave three quarters of that sling pot of damp substrate so it gives the sling opportunity to burrow as well. These are a docile species, they prefer to run away. Um, I've, I include a water dish in our setup, although I've never seen either of my females actually drink. They will flick hairs when provoked and that gold patch on their back will be full of like a fluffy looking substance like you can see there. That is a tiny hairs which they'll flick up into the air if provoked. But if you leave these guys to it, they're absolutely stunning. Now let's take a look at the build. For the setup, we've gone for a small front opening commodo. We've put soil in there going halfway up the back to give our tarantula room to burrow. And we've also put in some spring tails. That's what's just gone in there. It's all pushed down and squished, and squished so it's quite, it's quite hard, not too hard. That cork bark's going in there as like a starter burrow so that our tarantula can go inside the moss goes over the top what the moss does is helps to lock that moisture into the soil to stop it evapor evaporating too quickly this helps to keep the humidity up not only in the enclosure but also in that soil which is really really important what else is important is to get that water dish in there as well but I'll just slow the video down again now just a normal speed just while we put some moss in absolutely beautiful again all this moss mainly comes from my back garden where i grow it um, it grows really really well on stingers and the base of stingers top it up to that water dish giving it a good spray down making sure not only the top of that moss is wet but the actual water goes all the way through and goes deep down into that soil as well again this will help to keep that humidity up in the up in the substrate as well as keeping it up in the actual enclosure itself. So hopefully the water down deep in that substrate will slowly release and slowly come up. And when we spray it down, it'll help to keep that water locked down there as well. And again, our spider, as we see it there, is absolutely tiny. 
and she will burrow so she will make that burrow we have to give her opportunity to do so and here she is crawling around on top of the court bark on moss they do actually come out from time to time but don't be expecting to see these on a daily or, or weekly basis sometimes they will sit at the top of the burrow but nine times out of ten they are down quite deep there's that gold patch on a bomb absolutely stunning now that's like slight pinkish color across the legs you get more of a pink color when they first molt and here she is pretending she's a boreal and hanging down from the inside of her enclosure inside of her hide absolutely stunning spider and there's the enclosure in full let me know down in the comments again what you think of the enclosure is there anything different that you'd do boom so i told you she was gorgeous and she does not let us down absolutely beautiful dwarf tarantula i don't have favorites i don't have a favorite tarantula favorite spider favorite invert i love them all but when it comes to dwarf tarantulas the berenipes ah oh, dare i say it she is absolutely up there I'm, I am looking for a mature male. We've paired this female up before. She's had an egg sac. Unfortunately, she ate that egg sac. So hopefully now she's in this new, new enclosure that we've done for her today. With all that moss holding the humidity down into the substrate. If we get a male, fingers crossed, it might help her out a lot, lot more. Now this Tuesday is the live with Christine, which is Spider Mom 1978. She was on the lives a long time ago for a good while as well really really supporting the channel and it's fantastic to have her back again this tuesday and we're so looking forward to it and if you watch this video past tuesday then unfortunately you've missed it live but you can go back and obviously watch it um, at your own leisure so that would be this tuesday 8 p.m british summer time so thank you so so much for watching and if you've made it this far and you're not subscribed hit that subscription button get the notifications turned on so you know exactly when i upload i do a video every monday and thursday 8 p.m bst and i always i always release them as a premiere so what that means is if you click on this video about a couple of minutes to eight o'clock on the monday or the thursday that i release it you'll be able to come in into the live chats chat with myself and we can all watch the premiere together um generally most most of the people that are in there normally take the mickey out myself uh, <laughs> but that's just the way it goes it is getting a bit warm here in britain at the moment we're going up to into the 40s come monday and tuesday of next week as well so that's going to be pretty interesting especially for a guy with a dad bod you know what i'm saying speaking of dad bods i am on a diet mainly in like fruit things like that trying to stay away from the rubbish that i normally eat which is takeaway food carbohydrates so bread um potatoes pastries chocolate all that type of stuff i'm, I'm trying my hardest to put it to one side i never realized in my life that i'd go on a diet and i never thought how hard going on a diet actually is and i've took the mickey out of friends for going on diets in the past saying you know just just be you know just love yourself it doesn't matter but as you get older you kind of think about your weight and it and it, it becomes a bit worrying especially when you like start googling stuff um so i'm going to be dropping the weight a bit i'm going to be going to the gym as well and all the rest of it so wish me luck in the comments for that i do need your support guys because i am not confident um <laughs> but we shall see i want to drop a stone by christmas so that will happen anyway thank you so much for watching and as always we shall see you again on the next one